Astor Services in Rhinebeck was ready to reveal its renovation efforts seven months in the making. So come on in, come take a look. Spearheaded by celebrity actress and local resident Hillary Burton, the upgrades and improvements to the Paulus Wing was the first step in providing a warm, more comforting environment for children coming from broken homes and tough family situations. You can't tell a kid to dream big dreams and go to sleep in beige. Um, and so we were really, really lucky that we had Benjamin Moore paint through Williams Lumber help us out. And the transformation that, that we got as a result has just been overwhelming. Executive Director Jim McGurk was moved by the show of support from Burton, local contractors, and community volunteers. I mean, I've been at Astor for 33 years and this was probably one of the best weeks of my time here at Astor. It was one week of long days and hard work to create a softer environment, and it all started with the drive and desire of Ms. Burton. It's exciting for me to get up in the morning and at the end of the day take inventory of what we did that day, and we did a lot every single day. Yeah. Um, we anticipated being uh, three really hard days, and thankfully we got to jump on things on Monday and it ended up being five mm. really hard days, but it was so rewarding. We had a big, huge uh, lumber order from William show up at my house. They handcrafted all of these storage benches for our kids. They, all this chair rail here, they had to cut all the corners off of to make everything really safe, safe yeah. and sound. They built bookshelves for every kid, and you wouldn't think that having a bookshelf would really impact someone's daily life, but... And on the second day, and we had already mounted a lot of the bookshelves in the, in the rooms, and these kids are sticking up the three or four possessions that they have. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. I lost it. Yeah. For us, it was just like a hangout Saturday, painting exactly. <laughs> paint exactly. bookshelves. Mark's wife, Jess, came over here and along with local artist Tom Kale, painted this beautiful mural for the kids on the back wall over here. It was just an outpouring of love and labor mm -hmm. from our community. And the end result, you know, I had kind of been warned like, okay, let's send the crew home. Some of these kids have a lot of walls up and so won't necessarily show their excitement or show any emotion, and we don't want to overwhelm them. And so I was prepared for them to come up here and just be like, oh, okay, can you leave now? <laughs> and instead they came up and it was, um, God, it was like a Hallmark movie. <laughs> they hugged and they made eye contact and they really wanted to talk. And uh, for a kid to do that with a stranger, in this situation is a really big deal. A big deal was the outpouring of generosity of time and talent from Mark McKeithrin and other local contractors who Burton already had a relationship when Burton and her husband Jeffrey Dean Morgan moved to the area and built their own home. And the crew that we had here, how long, you've worked with Mike de Blasi, our painter, for a number of years. For probably about a year and a half we've been on jobs together and we just became friends and he jumped at the opportunity to, to get involved. We had Mike Stanhope and Mike Stanhope Jr., who are my electricians. They came through and did all of the new lighting and then kept coming back kept coming every back day just to do odd jobs. Tear off something. That's or... it. We had Mike Jr. doing decals along with our plumber, Tim Decker. He came <laughs> and he put the new sink in and then was like, all right, what else you guys got? And the very last day, we had our Families for Aster volunteers come in. Um, which was largely a group of moms in the area, like all my moms that I hang out with. They came in, they put all the decals in the bedrooms, they made all the beds, they made the blankets. One of our volunteers, Donna, handmade blankets for every single kid. And when you're a kid that's been taken away from your home, having a blanket that is yours, that reflects your preference for sports or, or video games, that's a big deal because once they leave here, they can take that stuff with them. Getting to this point started with a fundraiser at Bard College back in October, when Burton, her husband, Mary Stewart Masterson, and Griffin Dunn read ghost stories. I'd like to thank Griffin's mom for reading that. It's how I learned the alphabet. From there, it was drawings and design by Burton, and then a week-long flurry of activity, all led by Hillary Burton's commitment and high energy. Tuesday, the electricians yeah. came in, did all the electrical work, and we sanded all of this furniture. This furniture's been here for 30 years, and there was definitely 30 years worth of grime <laughs> on everything. 
and I breathed all of it in, along with Frank the Tank, my handyman, and Sam, who works here at Astor House. So, I love the staff, man. The maintenance great. crew, we threw so many curveballs at the maintenance crew. They were great. Everybody was great. They were awesome. You know, we didn't hear one no the whole time. Not one. This, this woman right here is, Bossy. A, is a dynamic, Bossy. very dynamic leadership and vision and the way she executed this project, it was very clear to me from the beginning who was in charge. <laughs> I, I, I deferred to her. My husband says the same right? thing. And sort of that, that chain of command t down t to Mark to be able to delegate to his crew on what was going to happen each day, it, it makes it a whole lot easier to work with yeah. a group of people and to be successful in this project. The renovation of each room cost between $400 to $700. There are eight rooms in this wing, housing children from eight years old to 12 years old. This was not just about being out there and, and kind of gathering the troops. This was actually putting her heart, her sweat, and- A lot of sweat, like so gross. <laughs> so I can't thank you enough Aww, for really yeah. doing that. To put that energy towards something like this, what was it that compelled you to be so driven? Um, I mean, this is going to sound really dorky. I did student government in high school. My parents were very involved in the community. My dad worked for the parks. My mom would help with cheerleading coaching and drove school buses. You know, they, my parents were involved. Um, and so when we moved here, this, this thing in my head that I learned in student government, um, it's if not you, then who? If not now, then when? Mm -hmm. And so sometimes people are scared. They're like, oh, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to, I don't know how to do anything, but you just figure it out, you know? <laughs> you surround yourself with good people and you just figure it out. Afterwards, it was a letter of appreciation from the children to the crew. Stack for you to bring to all the other guys, but they made these for us. I can't look at it now. No, you gotta look at it right now. No, I'm do it, start do it. And baskets of appreciation for many of the local businesses. Hi, guys. Who donated goods, materials, and furniture. Like John and Elaine from Davis Furniture in Poughkeepsie. The best. John, I'm so, so grateful. That's nice. You didn't have to do this. Of course I did. Elaine, thank you so much. You guys are amazing. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, you guys are amazing. I'm Hillary. But this is the first chapter of a longer story and mission. The work continues mm -hmm. into the other wings. Yeah. And you're part of that. For sure. Yeah. Our tagline is because every child deserves a childhood. And part of childhood is having memories, having people who care about you. The community has embraced us, and in fact, Astor has embraced them. They're now part of the Astor family. Reporting from Rhinebeck, Charlie Cornaccio, HVNN.com.